Hi, I'm Lisa Shield. Welcome to Emotionally Naked Dating, finding true love with nothing to hide. I show smart, savvy, single women a plan and a path to find love fast. If that sounds exciting to you, if you're sick and tired of being on the dating treadmill, then go to lisashield.com, click on my link to my free 45 minute webinar and be sure to watch to the end because I have a very, very special surprise for you. And also while you're on my website, you can learn a little bit more about me and what I do. All right, so today I wanna talk to you about the do's and don'ts of virtual dates or dating. With COVID-19, many, many, many of you are doing or having virtual dates. So you may be having a virtual coffee date or a, um, you know, sharing a, a bottle of wine at the end of the day or um, maybe watching a TV show or a favorite movie together. But many of you are starting to do virtual dates over Skype or Zoom or um, FaceTime. Be careful, by the way, if it is on Zoom, that it's not being recorded. There's a little record sign in the corner. And I know when I go on Zoom, it pops up automatically. And sometimes I don't even know it's going. So just know that, make sure that you're not being recorded. Um, so let's talk about some of the do's and don'ts of virtual dating. Some of the do's, do virtual date. It's an absolute godsend we have been trying to create emotionally naked connections with each other for years and now that's exactly what we have to do we gotta get online and talk and not jump into bed and hopefully don't have virtual sex <clears throat> and if you do make sure that record button is on <laughs> um, but you know this is really a chance to get to know somebody virtually so do them use this opportunity many of my women are doing it and having tremendous sex success with it um not tremendous sex <laughs> oh boy um but they're having real success with it so give it a try some of the women i talk to are very down on it they're very negative i don't look good on camera i don't like doing it you can buy a very small ring light it's a tiny little ring light you clip it on your phone or on your um your screen your computer screen and it will light you it will give you sort of a glamour light around your face and yes put on a little bit of light makeup <laughs> halfway decent shirt you know just like you want a guy to dress for you i i actually read in my uh my facebook group one of my face free facebook groups is called dating without drama and this woman wrote that uh she didn't want to do virtual dates because it meant that she'd have to put on makeup and a clean shirt and she said <coughs> <coughs> excuse me she said that felt to her like uh like um you know a date and she didn't want to have to get dressed up and i'm like what you know at least you don't have to drive across town to see this guy if you don't like him right you can uh hit the off button or say goodbye really quickly and get off there but it, the least you can do i mean it's just good hygiene and it's good for all of us to get up during this virus and get out of our pajamas and put on a little makeup so that we look you know when we pass ourselves in the mirror we don't scare ourselves it'll also keep your morale up if you do that so yes do virtual dates and get on there and take advantage of what you know of this time it'll also be a great way for you to fill some time and do something constructive with your time and get some you know human interaction <clears throat> what you don't want to do is get on these dates and start spilling your guts and just you know you have a captive audience you have nothing else to do many of you except chat over you know but you don't want to just get on there and just 
tell your whole life story right then and there. You also want to not get on chat, you know, not do this every single night with somebody because you're going to burn each other out. A lot of, you know, uh, what happens very often is people get excited and then they connect and then they, they're, it's like every night for two weeks, they're talking for two hours a night and then the guy stops reaching out. Well, he may have stopped reaching out because the conversation ran out. And I know that sounds silly, but you have to imagine in the beginning, you're connecting and you're telling your stories and you want to get to know each other, but then the story, you know, the stories of your past run out and there's a not, not a lot going on right now. So people are bored or they're isolated, they're having a lot of fluctuations in their moods and you have to know that right now is a tough time. So people aren't coming up with a lot of new stuff and maybe they don't just want to hang out. They're, they, they're embarrassed, they're ashamed, they're down, but they don't, you know, just because they're sitting home alone doesn't mean that they feel motivated to want to continue talking every single night. I was talking to my husband about this and he said, you know, if I were going to tell your women something about this, I would say, it would be so kind as a woman if I'm, you know if I were contacting her and we were talking and engaging I would love it if a woman would say to me you know it's okay if we don't talk every single night or it's okay if we keep a conversation short I understand that you know you may be burned out or you may need some space. He said he would love it if a woman said something like that to him rather than him having to negotiate space from her. He also was talking to me about how very quickly this kind of connection can go from feeling like something fun and exciting to it being an ob obligation or a burden like okay I've contacted her every night and now I have to keep up this pace and I have to talk every night and whatever you know sometimes they just you know a guy may be very you know he wants to talk in the very beginning it's new and whatever and it doesn't even mean that he's not interested or he doesn't want to move forward but maybe he needs a little bit of a break and it's not even that he's just taking a step back from you maybe he just needs some time to be with himself and recharge and whatever and that has nothing to do with you in fact he's going to be better if you give him that space. So look at your own neediness, your own, you know, your, these stories that you make up in your head that, oh my God, he was responding to every text immediately and he was contacting me every night and now oh, he didn't contact me for one night or three nights or whatever and you start to panic and then you panic and energetically in your mind, you start distancing yourself from him and then he starts to feel it and the whole thing unravels, right? You've got to understand that um, there's got to be an opportunity for some, you know, fluctuation. In the beginning, it's probably going to be a lot and then it's going to, you know, there will be uh, more fluctuation, but just it doesn't mean that just because someone was contacting you every single day or texting you or communicating with you and then that you know they don't set up a date at the next date right away that they've lost interest. It might mean that, but it doesn't have to mean that. You've got to communicate with the guys, you've got to check in, you've got to say, hey, we talked for two hours for the last four nights, you want to take a night off. You know, I would totally understand. I mean, I'm happy to talk, but I can also understand that you may need a night off, right? So just communicate, but don't make up stories. So do virtual dates, don't make up stories, don't overreact do give these guys some space you know make sure listen when you're in the conversation to see if he's fading you know and if you hear that just say hey let's pick this up tomorrow or the day after you know do that listen engage where these guys are at and be willing to give them some space i'm lisa shield this is emotionally naked dating finding true love with nothing to hide <laughs>